Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. A cultural hub. In the north of the country. It's an absolute must visit place in Southeast Asia. And these were our top favorite things. <laughs> number 10 on our list is Hoen Kiem Lake. We put this at number 10, not because it isn't great, but because it's a given. It's located in the center of the city, so you can't miss it, even if you tried. <laughs> There's a beautiful lit up bridge in the middle of the lake. There's always different activities and events happening here. Like this pop-up street festival. There is interesting architectures with influences from around the world. Be sure to check out the side streets surrounding, like Ceramic Mosaic Mural Road. This project began in 2007. And in 2010, it was awarded a Guinness World Record for being the longest ceramic mosaic in the world. Currently, at four miles, the project continues to grow. In the surrounding area, you can also find the National Museum of Vietnam as well as the Hanoi Opera House. Erected in 1901 by the French Colonial Administration. Number nine on our list is the area around the Presidential Palace. Check out the 19th century North Gate from the Lee Dynasty. Around the corner, check out the Quabok Parish Catholic Church. Be sure to cover your shoulders and knees so that you can visit religious sites like Taoist temples and Buddhist pagodas. Then head on to the Hanoi Botanical Garden to soak up some nature in this beautiful city. And get some exercise while you're outdoors. Find more local worship sites as you walk the residential streets. These streets are narrow, but vibrant and humming with life. You will stumble upon many lakes and ponds. Like this lake where this B-52 bomber was gunned down during the Vietnam War. Number 8 on our list, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. While the mausoleum itself was closed when we visited, we did check out the Historic House Museum, which was awesome, though you can not take video or pictures. And also at the end of the tour is the Ho Chi Minh Museum. Number 7 on the list is the Old Hanoi Restaurant. Given the stamp of approval by Chef Gordon Ramsay himself, this traditional quaint Vietnamese restaurant is absolutely delicious. This place was introduced to us by a Vietnamese local and now friend, and she did most of our ordering for us, but everything was insanely good. We ate family style with some new friends. Okay. I've been told that I've been told the opposite. I mean that the Asia is kind of famous that the propaganda don't listen to the news. Alright, number six on our list, the Vietnamese Women's Museum. The museum focuses on Vietnamese women's history, culture, and fashion. This is a traditional tribal marriage bed. I really enjoy this colorful lantern installation. There are really beautiful photographs depicting Vietnamese women from all walks of Vietnamese life. an entire section dedicated to the Vietnamese spiritualism. 
Here, you can learn about the different elements that they pay homage to and how they do that. Like with celebrations featuring these ornate costumes. There is also a dedicated floor for women of war times. You'll read haunting stories involving items like this bloody secret meeting mask. And number five on our list is the Temple of Literature. Built in the year 1070, the Temple of Literature was built in dedication to Chinese philosopher Confucius and his scholars. Its sprawling grounds consist of five consecutive courtyards, each with its own purpose. This third courtyard houses the temple's most treasured items. This fourth courtyard is dedicated to ceremonies. There is a clear aesthetic of gold and red, which symbolize good fortune and prosperity. Here, you'll find prized artifacts, as well as various altars for worship. The fifth courtyard held dormitories and classrooms. Now holds a museum depicting the different leaders of the temple throughout its history. Look at this beautiful ceremonial dress from the 14th century. Number four on the list is the Hanoi Train Street, which I am sure you have seen on your Instagram feed. A notoriously famous spot for travel photography, this railway corridor is lined with restaurants, spas, and shops. When the train arrives, it is a wild scramble to get out of the way. As Vieran so elegantly demonstrates for us here. Get in the train. For the best information on train arrival times, make sure to check in with the local shop owners. At number three, we have the Hanoi Prison Museum, or as the American POWs referred to it, the Hanoi Hilton. The prison was actually built by the French in the late 19th century to house Vietnamese prisoners who were politically fighting for independence from the French colonial rule. In 1951, 16 political prisoners escaped through this underground sewer. Only five of them succeeded and thus escaped the death sentence and rejoined the resistance. This sculpted wall memorializes the trials and tribulations of the Vietnamese who suffered here. In a room dedicated to the American POWs during the Vietnam War. Much of the information in this museum is disturbing, but it's a powerful history to be walked through. Coming in hot at number two is the Sadu Vegetarian Restaurant. This place was the best surprise that we just stumbled upon. I mean, seriously, take us back to Hanoi right now just to eat this food. For just $12 a person? It's all you can eat, but not buffet style, no. It's cooked fresh and served to you right at the table. <laughs> Cocktails are extra, but will only cost you a few dollars. It's a massive menu 
and there's plenty to choose from. We're not vegetarians, but this food was so gourmet, we did not feel like we were missing out on anything by not having meat involved in this meal. I can't believe this. <laughs> This is a good deal for $11. Guys, we literally ordered dozens of dishes here. We got super lucky by stumbling on Sadhu between lunch and dinner. But if you want to eat here during normal meal hours, you have to make a reservation. They were completely booked for the evening. This baked cheese though. And these desserts take us back. <laughs> and at number one, totally unsurprising, is a Ha Long Bay day cruise. Get some lunch, see the sights. If you only have one day in Hanoi, this is something that you have to do. I mean, we love the outdoors and we love beautiful natural scenery. So if I had to choose, I would skip the city and just do this. There are different routes you can take, but ours included the Sung Sut Cave, which is also called the Surprise Cave. Ha Long Bay is known for its emerald waters and towering limestone islands. Unfortunately, our tour day came on the heels of a typhoon, so we didn't have the greatest weather and we definitely did not have sunshine, but it was still absolutely gorgeous and a highlight of our trip. So that's our Hanoi Top 10. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. For more love, life, and travel adventures. Zo! So